Hey guys, welcome to Rustic Sodak Farm. I'm Jesse, and these are my bottle lambs. So today we are. So we do bottle lambs in the spring. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to increase the numbers of our farm. So by raising bottle lambs, we will be able to sell these, but we'll be able to keep ours. So we have a goal um, of sheep numbers that we want to get to, and hopefully we'll be sell a little quicker. So these guys are anywhere from probably about 30 hours to, what, four days old? Four days old. So today what we're going to do is we are going to band their tails, and we're going to band the testicles of males. So this should be done when they're very young. And, um, the tails get docked because of fly strike. We don't want to have issues with flies and maggots in the summertime. Because the poop will get stuck to the wool and it's just pretty, pretty yucky. They're so cute. Bottle babies are very attached to us. <laughs> uh, our boys are really liking them. Uh, our youngest, he's four and he can, he fed five of them last night by himself. That was pretty cool. Except for one ounce. I finished the last bit. Uh, but, so, we, we, this year we are feeding them uh, goat milk. So we got four goats, and we're milking them. And we do, we still have our dolly, our, we still have our, our dolly, she's our jersey. Um, we still, we, you now we drink her milk. Um. And then we'll, we'll also give her, we'll start mixing in when we need it for these guys. So, we are up to about, let's see, we have five more in the house. So, well, we got 14 out here, so we're up to 19. And we have a goal of 100. So, Trent is around this year to help. We are going to set up more of an automatic feeding system in a few days. We'll get him trained to that. <laughs> but, all right, let's get going and get started with these guys. So, it should be pretty good. Okay. Alright, well, let's get started, alright? Okay, and before we do, we're also going to brand paint them this year. We tried it last year with just the, there is a spray paint, but it does wash off in the rain. So, snow, rain, it's, does, it didn't work too well. And what we're going to do this year too is, since our lambing here at the farm starts April 21st, um... So we'll still have lambs. These guys will obviously be bigger. But the bottle lambs are going to have their numbers on the back. And then what we'll do um, for the paint for the our lambs born at the farm will be on the sides. So that when we're looking at them, we can see mom's number and baby number. But we use just a sheep branding paint. Um, it will, it says it's scourable, so it should come out for wool purposes. But... All right, let's get that done. Okay, we're gonna start with number one. Number one, number one is a little boy. He got his testicles here and they have dropped. So, good. And our tail. So we're gonna nip him right about, see here, this um, you know, part of his tail. Hey guy, okay. So what we're going to do is right, you see, right where it goes in to his rectum, you don't want to get too short, um, especially for females, it can cause issues of prolapsing when they're older. So we're going to go kind of, kind of mediocre. I like to be a little bit longer than others, but we'll do that. And then here is our, our branding, little set of branding irons. They're pretty cute. So, that's not your number, but we got these from Premier One. So, we'll just do that right on the back. And we will start. So, here is our bander here. And then, I always see that joke on, you know, videos where, hey girls, let's do your hair up. So, here's our bands. We got 
And I had them in the house so they'd be warmer. I don't like them. I feel like they uh, get a little more deteriorated quicker. If the cold makes them brittle. So, okay, number one. Where did you go? I guess it doesn't have to be number one. I just like to go in order. Trent is the one that feeds everything I like to do. Okay, so, try to do this on video, guys. Okay. Sweet. So this will, you know, it does bother him for, you know, a handful, probably 10 minutes or so. They usually kind of just sit down. Sheep are very strong. Unfortunately, a little too strong for their own good, I would say. The ewes are. But, so you just open it up just a little bit. You don't want to overstretch it. And then you pull your tail through. And you make sure you get it right. See, I did it. Right at the end. You see that? Okay, and then all you do is you let it go, and then you make sure that your end is out so you can pull right there, okay? But he doesn't squirm or anything. Uncomfortable. He does pretty good. Hi. Okay. See, but he's giving me kisses already. So, I mean, this isn't that painful for him. Okay. But I say it's better to get it all done at once because I wouldn't want to be have someone come and pick me up and do that. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys. I have the camera up on the thing. Okay, so, so same thing for this. You're just going to open it up and make sure with the testicles that you want to have both of them in your hands. So if you, you miss one, you know, you do not want to miss one at all. Okay. So get them both in your non-dominant hand or whatever hand you got going on here. And you pull through. See, they both dropped because I'm... Okay, I'm going to have to do this. Alright, nothing about a swarm of a dozen lambs trying to get you when you're doing this. Okay, so we have him banded right here. Oh, and as you can see, he's pretty... He's not too too bad, you know? He's still looking at me, he's still alert, he's still kissing my nose, so. He's not too bad for them, especially if you do it at very young age, okay? All right, and then we will get going and, <laughs> see, I got attacked. Uh, we'll get that branding paint done. All right, guys. Look at our cute little branding iron. Let's find our number one. Oh, that's him. Is that him running away? Hey, guys. Yep, that must have been him. Going under the heat lamp. Okay. Hey. We don't leave him like this at nighttime, guys. This is just during the day. I want him to get some. Okay, here we go. Just right. <laughs> oh, man. Ready, set, go. One. Look at that. All right. Cool. Okay. So, uh, 13 more to go. And I'm gonna make sure when you guys are doing this, always document. Document everything you do with your lambs. Um, because you'll be, you'll be curious later on. All right. And another thing too, I didn't mention what I will be doing today. I should have done it when they first got them, but where did it go? fish. Gotta weigh them. Okay. So what we do is we get our little fish scale and then we just use like a, you know, one, a bag. Because I've used one of those, um, uh, the little thing that Premier One came with, the little like cradle, but it just, sorry about that light, it just wasn't, they would get out of it when they get a little older. So this, I mean, it works for when they're young like this. But when they get older, they will get out of it. And that was before we had like a true livestock sale scale, which we have one we just need to set it up. One of those things to do. Um, but because for market, you gotta make sure that you get on the right weight. So 
anyways, we did that and I will get going on the rest of mine. Get my documentation done. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Bye guys.